All right, so I got the first swarm trap set up. Um, we're about to get, I don't know, they're, they're talking five or six days of rain. It's already rained for, for three days. But I got it set up. I'm just going to set up one this year. And uh, one of the questions people ask me is, why do I mark my queens? Uh, there's a couple reasons. Number one, each year I use a different color to mark my queens. That way, when I come across my queens, I know how old they are whether they're a year old two years old three years old four years old etc and when i catch a queen in a swarm i use a completely different color that's not a a year color that way i know that it's a swarm queen and because the reason i do that is because we don't know if that queen is two months old or if that queen is five years old we don't we don't know what the, what the age of that queen is so we use a different color so that when we are going through the hives, we know that this was a swarm queen uh, that we picked up from a swarm. And another thing that people ask me is why? Why why catch swarms? Why don't just produce your own queens? Well, the, one of the reasons is because the swarms, especially the swarms that you catch early in the year, are swarms that made it through the winter. They are accustomed to your area. Uh, it's a, a set of genetics that is specific to your area. So that's why I do it. And uh, the other reason I mark my queens is because if, if one of the queens from one of my hives ends up swarming out and I catch her, I'll know that I have my original queen. You see, that's very important. And I'll know exactly how old that queen is. And so I put my swarm traps anywhere from 300 to 800 to, to 1,000 feet away from where the uh, hives are at. Uh, because on average, that's about the distance that a, a bee or a uh, colony will, will swarm to. And I try to keep mine off the ground anywhere from, you know, 5 to 8 feet. I don't usually go any higher than that, as you can see. We're just about 8 feet up. And that's where my, my swarm trap will be this year. So this is the only swarm trap I'm doing. And uh, if I catch a swarm, I'll show you why uh, I'm wanting to catch a swarm this year. Uh, I have a purpose for it. And uh, once we catch the swarm, I'll go ahead and show you guys that. So we're all set up this year. And again, all this is is two different uh, five, five frame nukes stacked on top of each other with the bottom board. And of course, we got, we got one that goes all the way around that keeps the whole thing connected. And then we got one that goes around the tree uh, to hold it to the tree. And then I always anchor it with a couple screws up on the top there. So that's how I do mine, just so you guys know. And uh, it, again, it's just two frame, two frames. And they're, they're deeps. And that comes out to be the perfect uh, cavity size that a swarm is looking for. So it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get off here, guys. I love you guys. Get in the Word. Stay in the Word. Get the Word in you. Father, bless each and every one of you that watch the videos. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. And I hope you guys are having way better weather than we are at this point. It's getting cold again. And it's, it's, it's raining. And we're going to have rain for the next four or five days. So it is what it is. Uh, we'll be getting back in the hives as soon as we can. I got other things I got to catch up on anyway. So no big deal. At least I got my swarm trap set up, and uh, that way if any of my, my hive swarm or if a uh, local hive around here, some colony around here swarms, we'll be able to go ahead and catch them and get that queen marked up. So I love you guys. We'll talk to you guys later, and have a blessed day, each and every one of you. Peace. Peace be with every one of you guys. You know, Don't worry about this coronavirus. It'll be gone by no later than June, July, or August. It'll be completely out of here. Won't even be in the media. And we'll find out the real reasons behind this coronavirus. But, uh, you know, you can check my other channel, The Growing Awareness, uh, where I explain all that kind of stuff. Uh, the last video I put out, and I think the next video I'm going to do is going to be about that as well. Just to give you guys peace if you need it. I love you guys. We'll talk to you later.